So today I want to talk about strength training. And now a lot of people have said about sort of cricket strength that we don't like actual strength training, but this isn't the truth. Now, proper strength training is fantastic. And obviously we want players to be strong. It's a fundamental. But here is the big issue. And it's an issue I'm seeing time and time again, just this week, in fact. We get to a stage where we think strength has to be the first thing that happens above all else. And it's what players get told all the time, go and get stronger, you get quicker. So what do they do? Go off straight away, hit the gym, do the normal concentric exercises, now filled with squats, deadlifts, shoulder press, bench press, chins, and whatever, and they don't get quicker. In fact, they probably get a little bit slower, the action changes, and they get more prone to injuries. And then they start to think, well, why is this happening? I've been told to go and get stronger. I've got stronger. I've not got quicker. I'm getting more injury prone. What is going on? And here's the thing. Here's the biggest thing with strength training. It's done ahead of function of the body. Function has to be the number one thing that we look at with players. It has to be. They say, you know, if we had a car and both tires at the front were pointed in, and we know that the tires are going to get worn out very quickly, then we put in a bigger engine in that car. We're not going to help the tires. The tires are going to get worn out even quicker. We've just put a bigger engine in. It's not going to solve the problem. And it's the same with the body. We need to go back and solve the issues. We're seeing big issues now with 11, 12, 13, 14 year olds who can't move right. They can't control the bodies. And then they're getting into a situation where they're enjoying their cricket. They're getting good at it. Uh, the bowling's getting quicker. And someone will come along and say, right, just go and get stronger now. Go and get stronger. And it's probably one of the worst things we can do for them straight away. Obviously, like I said, we want strength. But if it's done ahead of function, we're going to get more injuries and we're not going to see these bowlers progress like they should. And what I'm predicting is we'll probably see more and more bowlers come through who haven't come through a proper pathway or haven't come through a, an academy system. Because what, what happens with the academy system uh, SNC might be working with them who's fresh out of uni. All they really know is strength training. So they'll put a barbell on someone's back who've got absolutely no place for it at all. So just this week, we had a, a youngster join the plan at 15 years old, and he's doing a bit of rugby as well. And, and so the dad sent me across um, the program he was doing, and I said, well, what's this based on? Uh, and he said, well, well, nothing really. They're just trying to get him stronger. So they had a program and they hadn't assessed him at all. And I said, well, what squat's in it? They said, oh, they're just doing a goblet squat. I said, cool, can you send me a video of it when he does it? And he sent me the video and it was horrific. The poor lad, it, the, I don't know what the movement was, but it definitely wasn't a squat. And this is the trouble. You know, I, I've not got massive issues with squats apart from when it's done with players who can't do it properly. OK, you know, we see players like this youngster. He was in all over the shop with it. I, like I said, at the end, it looked more like a good morning than a squat. And people are just dishing out squats like, you know, smarties. It's ridiculous because these kids can't do it. So one, there's no actual process to assess these players. But two, we're just giving them exercises. And three, even if they're watching it, we're not then correcting it or not saying, actually, he's not ready for this. See, with a lot of coaches and trainers, there's no regression. Squats where they start, they can't go back. You know, they don't actually understand what's going on, particularly what's going on at the hips and the pelvis of people. You know, if these things aren't working right, then squats one of the worst things we can do. Because most of the time at the bottom of the squat, the cervical spine, so your neck is hanging back, the ribs are flaring, the pelvis is shifting left and right, and it's horrendous. It's absolutely horrendous. But instead of correcting it, we're trying to add more weight and more weight and more weight. And it's crazy. And that's where my issue with strength training is. It's in completely the wrong context. So we need to get the function right. And once we've got the function there, the stability, the movement, the mobility, where we need it, then we can build. But only then. We don't go straight there. That is the key thing. Like, And again, of course we want strong players. Of course we do. But if we do it at the expense of function, it's going to harm them. And it's going to harm them massively. But, you know, um, my guys at Worcester, a lot of them, their big lifts were big. You know, they were doing over 200Ks um, for deadlifts, hip thrust, you know, whatever. And that's fine because we got them to a place. Now, 
I was probably guilty at one point um, in the mid 2010s of probably going too far that way and not, and not actually giving players a little bit more because because I could see their function wasn't right and I didn't want them to go ahead. But sometimes they need a little bit, so it can be give and take, but only in the right context and only when it's not going to cost them. That's the big thing, right? Is this exercise going to cost them? Yes or no? If it's even a slight yes. We can't do it. We need to regress, right? What else do they need? How do we get the function back first that we can then build on? That has to be the absolute priority all the time, okay? So hopefully from this, you can understand where we're coming from, that we do want strength, but we need function first. So function means good movement, good stability, good mobility. Once we've got that and we're happy, then we can build. But then when we build, we have to choose wisely. We have to choose the exercises so wisely that they're going to fit the player, not just give them an exercise and say, well, that exercise does X, Y, and Z. Say so it's a, a lunge or something, so great for knee stability. But if then we've got a, from the desk classification of hip or knee dom, if we've got a hip dom tendon driven bowler that we're given a hell of a lot of knee flexion work to in strength, then we're not going to help their action. So that's also where strength comes in. And then we've got to think of the rep range. You know, we there's two types of hypertrophy, myofibrillar and sarcoplasmic. You know, one of them, which we want, because that's going to help them get stronger without bigger, you know, the myofibrillar. But the sarcoplasmic means that they're going to get bigger. As, and we don't need them to get bigger. We need them functioning well and strong and powerful for what they do and what they need, because we don't want to add unnecessary weight. Okay, so these are all the types of things we have to think of and we have to bring into strength programs to really help the youngsters because that's what it's all about, helping them when they're young. So when they come through and they're 16, 17, 18, just getting into pro cricket, we know they're going to be in a good spot. You know, we know we don't have to go back and do loads of regression with them. So function first, build the stability, the movement, the uh, mobility, then we can build the strength and power on top of it. But again, bang for the buck. If we think we're we going to spend loads of time on Olympic lifting, when you know, the rate of force development there is so much different than when we're bowling and the speed of it is so much slower than when we're bowling, are we going to get a lot more out of medibles? Probably yes. So all the time we need to think, what does a player need? Not what exercises do I like as a coach that I can jam in there? Okay, so think player first all the time. And is this going to help the player in their game? Has to be the number one of what we're thinking of. So there's my take on strength training. Hopefully you got something good out of that and uh, we'll speak soon.